Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'm going to be going over 10 movies from 1985 that didn't make my top 15 list but these are just still 10 movies that I enjoy and have an absolute blast with. Some of these movies are better than others on this list but yeah I still think there's some sort of entertainment to be had from all 10 of these movies that I've picked. I've tried to pick some obscure ones, some lesser known movies because 1985 was actually a hard year to narrow down. There were just so many great movies, but <clears throat> I've got 10 here that, for me, they struck a chord with me, and I just really get some sort of entertainment out of them, and I have fun. There's no real rank into this list either. It's just 10 movies that I find fun and get some entertainment from and really enjoy. So, that being said, going to get into the first pick. So, we have... Ready to order? Yeah, I am. Michael? No, 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 I'm too nervous. I couldn't eat anything. You go ahead. Okay, I'll have a meatball sandwich and another Pepsi. Good enough. Oh, wait a minute. I'll, uh, I'll have a Pepsi, too. Pepsi? Anything else? No, no. Well, uh, you're having a meatball sandwich? Yeah. Make it a meatball sandwich. Meatball sandwich. So it's two meatball sandwiches and two Pepsis. Is that it? Yeah. No, uh, you don't feel like having any pizza, do you? No. No. Uh, give me a small... No, 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 make it a medium. In fact, give me a large pizza. That's two meatball sandwiches, two Pepsis, and a large pizza. Everything on it. No, no, just cheese. And, uh, olive. And mushrooms. And sauce. Michael. Everything. Everything. Hold the onions. God, when are you going to give this thing to her? Are you going to give it to her tonight? How am I going to eat all that food? Secret Admirer, starring C. Thomas Howell. Yeah, this has got an absolutely stacked cast, this movie as well. I really, really enjoy it. Dee Wallace, Corey Haim, Kelly Preston, Fred Ward, just to name but a few. There's a few Back to the Future sort of supporting characters that show up in this movie as well. I just absolutely have fun with this film. It sort of follows C. Thomas Howell's character who he's absolutely in love with Kelly Preston and he gets a love letter in his locker at school and he thinks it's from her. And this letter does the rounds. It reaches so many people in this movie that it just causes absolute havoc. Um, some like really, really, you know, irreversible damage to people's relationships, but it's a fun movie. I just have an absolute blast with it. I wouldn't say it's a guilty pleasure because it's just, it's just, it's it's too likable of a film. I just really, really enjoy it. Love the cast. Love the score. Yeah, it's just a fun movie. Really, really entertaining. So that is Secret Admirer. So coming up next, we have. But paradox is inherent in all dogma, and so I stand before you also as a man of sentiment. And it is in my dual capacity, the scientist and sociologist, materialist and moralist, anatomist and artist, that I intend to conduct my lectures, to expound, inform, illustrate, entertain, and edify. The noble profession at whose threshold you stand as neophytes is not an end in itself. The science of anatomy contributes to the great sum of all knowledge. And I believe that all men must work towards that end. And I believe that that end justifies any means. The Doctor and the Devils. So, yeah, this, again, really, really awesome movie from 85. Great cast. Patrick Stewart, Julian Sands, Jonathan Price, and Timothy Dalton as well in the lead really enjoy this one so it follows timothy dalton who's pretty much this uh the scientist and he sort of does these autopsies and experiments on dead bodies so he kind of like hires two people to like bring him dead bodies and they kind of he'll, he'll only accept them if they've died of natural causes and the the two people he's hired kind of find it a bit scarce uh find it a bit hard trying to find bodies that have died of natural causes so they end up causing a lot of the deaths themselves and yeah it's just a really good 
creepy Victorian movie, good little horror film. It's not like a gory film or anything like that, but it's just one I really enjoy. Really enjoy the characters in it as well. Good movie with a great cast. So that is The Doctor and the Devils. So coming up next, we have... Hey, how you doing? We'll talk more later. Once you're in the power blitzing, doing supersets is like jerking off. The key is to work out every possible minute. Like, say you don't have any weights. You use fresh meat. I'm serious. You scared me. This will just take a minute. Okay, get a good grip. Bend your knees and lift. One, two, one, two. Hey, no pain, no gain. This is great for the deltoids. Thanks, kid. Happy to help. <laughs> Who invited you? Just one of the guys. So, yeah, this is probably a movie that would never be made today. It sort of follows this girl who's gone in for this scholarship, but she kind of finds out that she, w she, she doesn't get it and that she probably would have got it if the position had been you know um applied for by by a guy so she tries to like cross dress and become this guy and blend in with 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 all the people at school and it goes from there it's that typical comedy it's it has one of these tropes that i absolutely hate the liar reveal at the end of any movie um you know you can all see it coming a mile off someone is keeping a secret from someone they find out they fall out and then they make up again we've seen it in so many movies but yeah, this is one of them. It's a good 80s one. It's it's fine for what it is. And I just have fun with the movie. I just, yeah, have a, have a good time with this one. It's tongue-in-cheek. It's harmless fun. But, yeah, probably wouldn't be made today because, yeah, we just upset too many people. But, yeah, that's just one of the guys. So, coming up next, we have... I realise we only have a fortnight to go. But before we all chuck off our shoes and do what we like... We should remember the school inspector is coming next week. And until he leaves, we will continue with our work. Thank you. That's better. Derek, lock the front door, quickly! But lock the door! Toby's out there. He went to the toilet, remember? Children, I want you all to stay where you are. No one is to move. There are guns, and no one must get hurt. Just sit quietly and do as I say. Fortress. So, yeah, this was a movie that I knew nothing about. I didn't know anything about it going into it. Didn't even know a single thing about the premise didn't even know which country it took place in and yeah this is an australian film really really like this one really really under the radar not to be confused with the christopher lambert film that came out in 92 but yeah this is really really awesome this film it follows this female teacher who's teaching um this, these class of students one day at school and what happens is four men come into the school and take the class hostage and they're all dressed up like as different animals. One's like a, a duck, one's like a, a mouse, the other one's like a panther. And they're led by a guy who's dressed as Santa Claus. And they just, uh, yeah, they take this this class hostage and it's just harrowing what they kind of sort of put them through. There are moments in this movie where you just think, yes, they've escaped. And then it completely does a 180 on you. It's brutal, it's violent. Yeah, really, really enjoy this one. So if you like those types of movies, check this one out. Really, really good little revenge movie as well towards the end. So, yeah, that is Fortress. So coming up next, we have... Hey, Mike. Ciao, babe. How, how 
is it uh, two weeks before graduation a man of your mechanical capabilities hasn't finished his science project i mean how do you how do you explain that i've been i've been working double shift down at charlie's garage and it cuts into my free time yeah. you know yeah well you know i don't make the rules around here right but uh bottom line golden rule no project no diploma bill. yeah but well, I, I thought maybe i could uh, rebuild a carburetor or something if that's okay now oh, come on harlan you do that in your sleep do something special something original come on man and don't forget your science final tomorrow hey man i don't like to hassle you mike you know that have a nice day a nice day yeah come on i used to be your age once way back in the 60s when all you need to finish school is a frisbee the gas mask help <laughs> See you later, Bob. Protest songs, white rabbits. TNT in there, ain't it? Take TNC. Mm. Ah, free love. My Science Project, starring Dennis Hopper. So, yeah, this is a fun high school movie again. Very, very over the top. Very, very creative imagery in this movie. It sort of follows this guy who prolonged doing this science project for a very, very long time. And the deadline comes around and he misses it. And Dennis Hopper says, you know, you've got a choice. You've flunked the class or you turn in something, you know, pretty, pretty banging, pretty spectacular in terms of a science project. So he goes around, I think he ends up in this junkyard, finds something he can pass off and it turns out that it's more than what he bargained for i'm gonna leave it there but yeah it's it's a fun movie very very creative fisher stevens is also in this movie as well from the burning and super mario brothers but yeah it's a little bit of a super mario brothers reunion there with dennis hopper but uh obviously this was made before that but yeah it's a fun movie really really fun characters really really creative stuff in there and yeah just have a blast with this one so that is my science project so coming up next we have turk 182 starring timothy hutton and kim cattrall yeah this is an awesome movie very very underrated as well from 1985 timothy hutton's character he pretty much plays the brother of an off-duty fireman who was in a bar one night and he was called upon because he's a fireman uh, to rescue a girl from from a fire and he did so but his brother ended up getting seriously harmed in this fire. So his brother, played by Timothy Hutton, decides, you know, well, he was off duty. The city, the city should do something. The city should pay for his sort of recovery treatment. And he ends up going to the mayor, and the mayor just outright completely fobs him off because his brother was in a bar, and he assumed that he was drunk. Is it was drunk. And so Timothy Hutton decides, you know what, I'm going to wreck this um, mayor's career sort of like a modern day banksy going around with you know all these sort of uh pieces of graffiti he goes around you know slandering this this mayor's name and no one really knows who he is or what he's doing or why he's doing it but we get the motivations and we just enjoy it kim cattrall's great as kind of like his journalistic friend in the movie and yeah i just really really enjoyed this one so that is turk 182 so coming up next we have Enough! 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 Just get it out of here. Dad, you're kind of red. Good! Good! I wanted to get a little color, you know. That's a good base. That's a good base. You gotta do these things in stages. Summer Rental, so yeah, starring John Candy. This again is a fun vacation movie led by John Candy. I mean, in that guy's hands, you can't really go wrong. I just absolutely love him. He had such star power. And yeah, this has got um, Kerry Green in it as well. Obviously famous for playing Andy from the Goonies. And yeah, it's just, it's a fun movie. It feels very much like an early John Hughes film. But yeah, it's it's got all of those tropes. I think as well because Candy was attached to this. It kind of feels like a John Hughes film. But yeah, very, very fun stuff. Very, very enjoyable. It has that summer feel-good factor to it. 
that you just enjoy from these types of movies. And it's another movie as well that doesn't get talked about, like I said, with John Candy. So, yeah, I just have an absolute great time at this one. So, that is Summer Rental. So, coming up next, we have... <laughs> you want your bike back? What do you think? Should I give his bike back here? <laughs> Should I give him his bike back? Woo! So should I give him his bike back? Yeah. Get back to me! There it is. Tough Turf, starring James Spader and Robert Downey Jr. So yeah, this is, again is another underrated movie from the 80s, another great high school movie. James Spader is pretty much the new kid on the block and he's finding it tough to sort of integrate with school and he ends up sort of getting in deep water with the wrong type of crowd. And yeah, it takes off from there. It's a great high school movie, great suspenseful stuff in this film. I love the setting of it as well. 80s high school movies for me could really sort of do no wrong. It was It's just really, really enjoyable. I love the mise-en-scene that that kind of movie, that, that, that setting gives. I, I just absolutely love it. I'm a sucker for it. And Tough Turf is just a great one. Great cast, great young cast at the time. Really, really enjoy this film. So, yeah, that is Tough Turf. So, coming up next... We have. A window? I don't think my father likes you very much. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Well, I most certainly am. What do you mean? I saw you smiling, Nicole. I didn't smile. I happen to be very upset about this. Let's face it, you blew it. I didn't blow it, Nicole. I didn't do anything wrong in there. And what your father did to me was very unfair. You know what I think? I think you liked it. I think you liked seeing your father do that to your boyfriends. You're just being silly. And you know what else I think, Nicole? I think that makes you not very nice. That's too bad. Because I really thought you were. Well, if that's the way you feel about it, goodbye, Wendell. Nicole. Fraternity Vacation. So you might recognize a couple of those actors from Fright Night in this movie. But yeah, this is probably the worst movie on this list. But again, I still liked it. I still had fun with it. Tim Robbins is also in this movie. The Fright Night connections there for me as well with, like like I said, some of those actors. It, this was made before Fright Night. Um, but yeah, it's it's a fun movie. It's that type of, you know, high, college sorority type of movie where all that, you know, teen sex was going on. It's that type of movie. And yeah, I enjoy it for what it is. I have a blast with it. It's fun. I like the cast, like I said. It's far from perfect. The movie does have its problems, but yeah, it gets very silly over the top in places. But give this one a go if you've not seen it. Um, you might like it. You might get something out of it. I did. So yeah, that is Fraternity Vacation. So coming up next for the final film, we have... 
You can sit. You know, when I first brought you into this school, I thought you'd become another Einstein. And you were well on your way. And then? I got a haircut. You're disappointing me, Chris. And you, me, Jerry. Look, it's about our deal. I know, Jerry, and I have advanced your project more than any three students on campus. That was yesterday. What have you done for me today? Well, uh... <laughs> I want five megawatts by mid-May. <laughs> uh, Jerry, I think you might be getting a little obsessive about all this. Now, I took in Mitch, okay? And he's coming along fine. He's working his guts out for you, so... What exactly do you want? I want five megawatts by mid-May. Look, I don't care if you're arrogant. I don't care if you're disrespectful. But your attitude's distracting Mitch, and that I won't have. The rules have changed. I want it by mid-May. Real genius, starring Val Kilmer. So, again, this is a fun college movie. It's Val Kilmer, who's pretty much, you know, this, um, this prodigy. Really, really smart person beyond his years. And yeah, goes to this college, kind of finds it tough, I think, mixing in, and they sort of end up, you know, creating this project. And one of the university students, the uh, professors there, I should say, wants to sort of use it as a military weapon. And they find this out, and they kind of like, well, you know what? Let's we're not having that. We're going to sabotage it. And yeah, it's a really, really fun movie. Great cast of characters, similar to Tough Turf. I love that kind of setting in movies. Really, really enjoy it. And got a great soundtrack as well, really good ending. And yeah, just harmless fun. Really, really enjoy this one. So it's a good little Val Kilmer underrated gem, but like top secret. Really enjoy it. So yeah, that is real genius. So yeah, that is it, guys. Those are my 10 sort of picks that didn't make my top 15, but I still enjoy these movies nonetheless. And yeah, gonna leave the video there, guys, and say keep your eyes peeled for 10 movies from 86. And yeah, just going to say stay safe, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.